Hi everyone, um, today's video is going to be about this month's um, Carmine, Carmine box, however you want to pronounce it. Um, this is actually my first um, Carmine beauty box. Um, I'd heard some good and bad reviews about the box, um, so I was a little bit on the fence whether or not to, to subscribe, um, but I thought, hey, let's let's go for it, give it a couple of months, see if I like it, and then, you know, I decide whether or not to carry on or not then, kind of idea. Um, but first impressions of the actual postal box was a little bit disappointing. Um, it came all pretty bashed up, and um, I had heard a lot of people say that they thought the beauty box itself was too big for the postal box, which I think is correct, because, look, it's all bulging. It looked worse um, than this when it first arrived in the mail. It was all kind of bulging all up here. And there was a big sticker on this bit to obviously hold the box, hold this bit in shape. Um, so I think they do need to do something with the postal, the postal box, considering gloss box um, comes all neatly packaged. Actually, I have gloss box here to show you. It comes all neatly packaged in um, a cute little box and it has their logo and everything on it. Um, but it's all really nice compact in there. So comparing the two, I definitely say Glossy Box is much better. But anyways, we're not here to have a review of Glossy Box. So I, I will crack on. Something that I know. We will crack on. So like I said, this is what the box looks like. When I get too close, you might see my dress. Um, let me lift this up. And then obviously there is the box. I'm gonna wiggle back a little bit so I'm not too close to the camera. Like this. I'm just gonna take this out. I'm just gonna that's better. I'm just gonna take this out. Another thing that I don't like about it, so I can just start this is what it looks like. So with the down there. Right. The only down the thing I don't like about the box itself is that it has these little tabs here. And here, that you have to like lift it upwards like that, and it's so difficult to get off. It took me forever, and I know it's going to take me forever to get it off now. It's really frustratingly annoying how difficult it is to get off. But I've managed to get it off. So, this is what the interior of the box looks like. I don't particularly like, I'm not a great green and red. I'm not a great green and red lover anyway, so the two combined, it's not really my favourite. So yeah, that's what the interior of the box looks like. And when you open it up, it looks like this. So again, just like your yeah, typical beauty boxes, you've got the little card which shows you, obviously, the products and that which are inside. Like this. And then you have this ribbon, which I've obviously undone. I couldn't get it anywhere near as good as what it was tied so I do apologise for that um, and then obviously you open that up and inside uh, your products and bits and pieces so I will go through each one of these again I'll probably do a blog post um, with the, in going into more depth into the products itself. So it's just going to be a quick rundown otherwise my video might go on for like half an hour and if you notice that it is quite quiet in here today, it's because I've managed to get both girls asleep at the same time. Goody for me. So I thought, good time for me to do a video which isn't going to be loud and isn't going to have my two daughters screaming in it and shouting. So, anyways, crack me the box. So, the first thing um, that I will show you are these, which are the West Lab Himalayan bath salts. And they say to detoxify detoxify and maintain self health soft healthy skin and they look like this like this I'm still gonna focus better um I'm not a massive lover of bath salts I've used them once and I had a bit of an allergic reaction to melt my skin out in a bit of a rash so it wasn't a great start so I'm a little bit wary about using bath salts now um, I tend, because my skin's quite sensitive, I tend to um, react quite badly to strong, quite strong things. So, 
I don't know. I can't smell. They don't, they don't smell. I can't smell them anyway through the bag. So I might give them a go. I guess anyone would find out by actually trying them. So they're quite, they're quite cool. Um, so yeah, I'll give those a bash. See what they're like. Um, I think I've taken something out of here. Yes, I have. <laughs> the other thing that was in the box is actually my Bacossi box now, so I'll have to get that out in a minute. Um, the next thing that you got was is the Balance Me. Um, and this is the Radiance Face Oil. That's what it looks like. Just like a little sample in there. It looks like this. And the thing I love about it is that it's in like a little roller ball. See that? There you go. You can roughly see that. I haven't, I've only kind of, this smell, I haven't tried this yet, but it smells really, really nice. Um, but like I said, I haven't tried it out yet, so I'd have to give this a bit of a bash and see what it's like. It just says roll over face and neck and face and neck morning and night even before you moisturize as an additional layer of protection or alone to give your skin back the radiance it deserves so i would have to give that a go like i say it smells really really nice it smells a bit like spices and herbs which is really nice so definitely going to try that out i have actually seen the big the full price of these so i will tell you them um, where are we? Oh, the West Lab. Um, it doesn't actually say what the prices are. That's the only thing I don't like about this. It doesn't say how much the full prices are, which is a bit annoying. Um, so it says no time. So for the Radiance Face Oil, it says no time for a New Year facial. Not to worry. This hundred percent natural face oil will dramatically renew your skin and make you literally glow. Try massaging onto your face and neck before you moisturise. Um, and then it gives you a ten percent um code. If you want to go and buy the full size at the website, but like I said, does it give you the price of the full size? Which is a little bit boring. It's a little bit annoying. But anyways, beggars can't be choosers. So the next thing that I got is the um, cause. It's one of the cause natural products, and this is the Wild Rose 24 Hour Moisturiser with SPF six. Looks like this. It's only a teeny tiny bottle. My camera is definitely not going to focus. No comes rubbish um again i have tried this only really on my hand not really anywhere else but it really does smell like rose and i love the smell of rose it makes a really nice smell it does take a bit of working in i just put a bit on my hand and as you can tell you do have to kind of there we go properly wash them but it makes your hands feel really nice and it does smell really really nice as well so i really really like it so i'm definitely gonna try that out in a bit more depth and see what that's like um the next thing that we got were which i'm very excited about was a pair of the eldora handmade lashes and i love 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 old lashes um i don't wear them on a day-to-day -day basis um, obviously because most days I'm at home looking after my children so I don't tend to run around the house in fake lashes um, but I do wear them for like parties, weddings um, you know things like that, nights out whichever so the ones that I got are um, number B158 and they look like this and I love them, the light's gonna there they go. I really really like these they look really really nice quite natural looking which I like. I don't like lashes. I have this really thing that I hate, like these feather lashes. I don't know why, I just don't like them at all. So I'm really glad these are really quite natural looking. I really like those. Um, I've seen quite some good reviews about Eldora lashes on other videos, other YouTube videos I've watched. So I'm really excited to find these in here this month. And they do have the adhesive glue inside, which is cool as well. So that was that, and the last thing that I've got, like I said, is actually in my glossy box. I don't ask if I actually got in here, which is a tad annoying. 
Hold on, she's okay. So I just give a mint. Yeah. Too many boxes laying about. Um, anyways, and the last product was this, which is the Ico um, Fat Eye Stick. Now, if you guys get the um, Glossy Box, subscribe to Glossy Box, then you would have known that this month, February's box, you got we got a Ico um, Skinny Eyeliner Pencil. So I was quite pleased when this came through the um, this came in this month's box. I was like, oh wow. I get to try a fat one this time instead of a skinny one. Um, after using the skinny one, I was really impressed. I was really quite excited to try out this one. I can get out of the box, that is. Um, and the colour that I got was chocolate. I'm not even going to focus. Okay, don't focus. Um, and like I said, it looks like this. And it's in the colour chocolate, like I just said. And it looks like this. It looks more brown. It looks more like a burgundy colour here, but it is actually just a dark brown. And the thing I like about it is it's got this kind of telescopic ring here, and you just twist it and it goes up and goes down, which is quite different. Um I've had jumbo pens in the past, we've had to sharpen them, and it's trying to find a sharpener that is that big to sharpen it. Most times I've had to throw it away and just go and buy another one. Um so I really like this. It is really, really creamy. Um, yesterday I used it. I don't have it on today. I've got black eyeliner on. But I used it yesterday um, on my waterline, up uh, above my lashes. Um, and then I kind of faintly rubbed a bit onto my finger and then actually put it on as like a base for my eyeshadow. And it worked really, really well. It's really quite nice, creamy base. So that was a bit different. Um... So yeah, so I really um, recommend these. I don't know if everyone got brown. I doubt it. I know a lot of people got different colour um, eyeliners in their glossy box. So I, I assume there is different colours that people got of these. If you did get different colours, let me know in let me let me know in the comments box. I can go check those out. I will go onto their website eventually and have a look at the stuff, different colours and that myself. And for this, it says. Um, Take it from us, this chubby stick of soft, creamy colour has a double duty as a liner and a shadow, like I just said, to create the perfect smoky eye that will never go out of style. Available in six different shades, that's just answered my question, and high um, and high gloss for you to make a variety of sexy, smoky looks. And it gives you their website. So that's really cool. Um, so that's answered pretty much my question. There is other shades. Probably would have been better if I actually read that. Um... The last and these little cards that we got is a five pound voucher for um for Wild Rose, the cause Wild Wild Rose Moisturizer. And it's a five pound voucher for House of Fraser. Okay. And then another little thing was get your next kind box free, refer, review, and reward. So I take it that's if you review the products. You can get rewards a bit like gloss. I think it's a bit like glossy dots with glossy box. Um, and if you guys are interested in more of the lashes, they do actually have a little picture with the different lashes up here. But I don't think the camera's going to be it's just going to be paying not focus. These you kind of tell these top ones they kind of the lashes kind of go to an angle, they kind of go to one side. Um, and obviously the, the bottom ones are the lashes that I got, which just you know, bog standard lashes. But these ones are quite cool as well. And they're actually angled to go this way, which is quite sweet. Quite like those. So yeah, so that is all that was in this month's um Carmine box. Or Carmine, however you want to pronounce it. And again, as always, you get this typical red crunched up cardboardy papery stuff. Um, so yeah, so that was this month's box. I was quite impressed with it, the products inside at least. Um, so I will carry on subscribing for probably a couple more months, see if the products are just as good or maybe better. But for now, I will carry on subscribing. So um, yeah, I will write a blog post telling you more about the products because I haven't tried any of them yet apart from this. Um, so I will... Um, like I say, write a blog post and review the products in more depth. 
So I put the blog below. It won't be on there yet. It probably won't be on there, on there for like another week or so. Um, so bear that in mind. So give it a week, about five days, and I will rustle up a little blog post for you. So like I said, I'll put my blog below. So go check that out and follow my Twitter account. And subscribe to my videos because I am new and... I want some subscribers. If you like my videos, that is. If you don't, don't bother subscribing. Probably no point, really. But I hope you do. Fingers crossed you do. So I'm going to stop rambling like I normally do. And I'm going to go. So, um, have a good day, guys. Oh, and happy Valentine's Day. Um, I also have, you know, happy Valentine's Day to people that are loved up. I haven't done Valentine's cards or nothing yet. Boyfriend starts work at 7 in the morning, so... We didn't exchange yet, so we'll do that later. So I hope you're all having a lovely loved up day. Um and yeah, I will see you in the next video. So bye guys.